Positive change means you're moving away from the things that keep you in frustration or keep you from your happiness. Happiness is a state that is already within you. It's not something we're trying to go out and grab and put us inside. It's something that we were, we were born that way. And we've allowed some things to come into our life to cloud this perception of our, of our happiness. And we start to view eyes with illusion. And we start to see life in a, in, a, in a different way. And we start to attach ourselves to things in life that keep us away from that wholeness and that, and that happiness. And the yoga first about is describing that illusion that we are attached to. And then trying to see the, the life on the other side of the, the illusion. And then taking the tangible steps over the course of time to uh, start to move away from that illusion where you no longer see the eyes of the illusion, you start to see the truth, the truth in life. And you're at that point? I'd say it's a constant work in progress. <laughs> uh, it never ends. Mm -hmm. um, you work on yourself from the day you decide to do it, ongoing, mm -hmm. deeper shades of awareness. Mm -hmm. It never stops. Now, I know that you are a yoga, is it called yoga practitioner? Yep. In Montreal. Do you counsel your clients at all as well, or is it is it strictly postures? Um, at, at this studio, Sattva Yoga Shala, it's an Ashtanga studio, so it is mostly uh, asana, posture-based yoga. Mm -hmm. Within the posture, they're breathing in a particular way, which is also a form of pranayama. Mm -hmm. How they're gazing and looking and paying attention to their body is another aspect of yoga. So even though it is a posture, there's many other deeper things going on inside the posture that are not really that visible from the outside unless you know what's going on on the inside. Gorgeous. Um, now, something else we want to talk about today is obviously your art. Were you born an artist? I, I really think I was. Mm -hmm. um, considering how easy it is for mm -hmm. this stuff to flow out of me, it's definitely one of my sole purposes, mm -hmm. meaning it's a gift that was given to me. Um, I had a, a great uh, teacher in high school, uh, uh, Mr. Burns, <laughs> that uh, art was fun, right. whereas like other classes weren't fun. Mm -hmm. And when it's not fun, it's a struggle. Mm -hmm. And when it's fun, it's easy. Mm -hmm. It just comes. It just naturally. It's like you don't keep checking the time to see when the class is over. If anything, you're checking the time to see how much time you got left because you're enjoying what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So I just had a, a teacher that uh, he had a good vibe about him. Mm -hmm. And he, he brought something out in me, which at the time I didn't even know, you know really what it was. And it's something that's been with me. So university, I didn't do too much painting in the middle of, of my studies. Mm -hmm. But uh, through university, studying health sciences, um, being again, science and kind of dry, there was an artistic expression that I was kind of denying myself. Mm -hmm. And so there'd be time I'd just go out and buy a, a big canvas and put it against the wall and, and, and start to work away on something to kind of get out what, what had to come out and I could go back to, to my studies and so forth. But it wasn't until after I graduated university where I had more time, mm -hmm. uh, more free time to kind of explore um, the artistic side of me. So that sort of leads me into one of my questions when I look at your work. Do you premeditate or do you walk up to the canvas and create? I would definitely say it's a, a very long methodical process where I basically have my next six paintings already sitting up here in my head. And these take, since I work very uh, much in detail, they take quite a long mm -hmm. time. So by the time I get to the canvas, it's pretty much planned out in my field of vision. Never the finished product, mm -hmm. because there is the time where you're just kind of living within the flow and things on that day will come out mm -hmm. unplanned. But the majority of it is kind of set, meaning I have something that resonates with me, a concept of yoga or something I'd like to express or something I find truly interesting that's helped me that I'd like to share either to my students or my friends or my family or anyone who, who would like to see it. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say I'm, I'm, there are things, I never have 100% of the painting finished in my field of vision. It will, if you're open to the flow of life at the time, it'll naturally flow right through you. Meaning, 
good ideas come when they have to. Is it a is it divine? Is it is it being channeled through you? Sure. Okay. I would say, you know, your imagination is associated with your second chakra. Mm -hmm. All your creative expression um, also comes from your, your throat chakra. Mm -hmm. But all that imagination and creative expression comes from the level of your soul. Mm -hmm. It comes from a, a deeper part of yourself in which people rarely look into. So the yoga is about kind of opening, opening you up to that capability. Mm -hmm. Being in the flow to receive those intuitive thoughts or visions or aspirations. And then there's another thing of being able to kind of not only feel something, but then can you translate it onto canvas. There was a long time where I had all this stuff that I would like to put on canvas and I had no idea how to do it. I just, I, I, it just, I couldn't compute, I couldn't relate a vision to, to the picture. And I saw an artist in the United States named Alex Gray. And he is uh, probably my biggest uh, inspiration for the way I paint. As soon as I saw his stuff, I'm like, that is it. He is doing exactly um, what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And so I, uh, I bought his books, I bought his posters and his art, and I plastered it all over my apartment. And it helped me stay within that realm of imagination and creativity. Meaning I put his stuff out around me, his images would keep me in a place that keeps me creative. And I go to the campus and I can be there for 20 minutes, I can be there for 8 hours. And when you're in that, that flow, mm. time stops, mm. space disappears. Mm. Uh, limitless possibilities. It's easy. You don't get tired, you are inspired, your energy rises, you want to keep going with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. There is no doubt, there is no wonder, does anyone really like this? It doesn't matter because it's what I want to do. So I find that if I can put something on canvas that I truly love to do, people will be drawn to it. It's only a matter of time. I'm young, I'm 37. I would like to have a greater collection and have my own art gallery to show off my own stuff. And whether that takes a year or ten years to do it, it doesn't matter because I'm doing what I like to do. And really, who out there can say that they're, they're really doing what they love to do? Most people don't even know what they like to do, let alone have the freedom in their, in their lifestyle to be able to kind of go down that road and so on. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's um let's look at some of your favorite work, okay. and um and hopefully you'll have time to tell us a bit about them. Uh -huh. Beautiful.